Anyways, here's what we're doing. So I am going to make this first wall. I am very intimidated about making walls. There's so many things you can do. You can use wood studs, smaller wood studs. You can use metal studs. You can, uh, you can, um... <laughs> You can weld metal supports straight to the bus frame. I'm going with a weird option. So I'm going to use three quarter inch plywood with Craig screws again. And I'm gonna tie the Craig screws in all along here, there, and along the roof. Hopefully that'll be enough support for it. Now, unfortunately, the technique that I used to do this is not going to work quite the same for this arch. This does not extend to the ground, but in this location, I do have one piece of wood from the ground to the ceiling. So I don't have a lot of space to play with for scribing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a template and then I'm going to transfer it to my final piece of wood. Closet depth, 27 and a half inches on either side and that's gonna leave us with a 32 inch wide hallway which is big enough for my butt and most butts probably not every butt now I gotta somehow scribe this thing while I hold it here I'll figure it out okay. I usually hold this like this straight straight that way where you going now let's come back here I need you to hold that square to there so Push it towards me. Perfect. That is about as good as I can do, which I think... Uh, I think that was good! I think that was really good! Um, so now I just have to transfer this to a huge sheet of three-quarter cut to size. There's a lot in this next step that I can mess up. how we did. Great over here, and I guess quite imperfect over here. Just sitting here, it's already pretty sturdy. I'm gonna screw this in and see how it goes. Admittedly, that's a lot of Craig holes, but this is my first wall. I don't know how secure this is gonna be, and I will adjust as necessary. Who's your buddy? Um, skeleton. What's his? What's his name? He died. He died. He died. <laughs> he died. Hi. How did you know? High five. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'll give him hugs. Give him kisses. Oh, what a sweet girl. <laughs> So there you have it, babe. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Wall number one. It just looks perfect. It turned out really well because with this Craig screw situation, it sucked this ceiling down a little bit. And so my only gap was that corner right there. Ain't no thing. It's gonna be hidden by a TV. You can't even really see it unless you're up high. So far, I feel like this Craig screw situation is pretty good. What do you think? This is mommy's closet and mommy's bedroom. <laughs> You guys know a thing that YouTubers do? Like, they're extremely enthusiastic. Okay, ready? Welcome back to the Bus Conversion Gilligan family. We're back in Bus Conversion land, having another great day on the school bus. 
Check out all the progress that we've made. We made a wall. You have to run, okay? We made, we did, we did all this. This is such a fantastic job to have to be a YouTuber. I don't know, I could be an actor. I can't be an actor, I suck. All right, yesterday I had a couple hours and so you saw me make this one. You saw that it worked out really well, except for that little corner. No problem, man. Oh, I wanted to mention, it's really sturdy, okay? Except for right here, watch this. See how I can wiggle it? Uh, obviously that's not good enough. There's gonna be a second wall right here. There's gonna be a shelf that will tie to here. There will be a shelf like here, and there will also be the bed, which will tie in right here. So when that's done, I am very confident that this is gonna be really sturdy. So this is my way of building walls with only three quarters of an inch. I think that's pretty cool. I think this would've taken me an inch and a half stud and then half inch sheeting. I'd lose two inches no matter what to this wall just to have this closet. And this way I lose three quarter. It's pretty much gone after building this side. This is like so far from square, it's like 26 and a half. But right here, it's all the way to 27. It's a half an inch deeper. So what I've done is I put a piece of half inch plywood and then I sanded it down so that it tapers so that I could get this clean line from the inside. And um, that gap will be underneath the bed and inside the closet. Check it out though, I mean look, we got our first Full wall. Obviously, if you want electrical lines or plumbing run inside of a wall, this is not the right approach. And this isn't the approach I'm gonna take to every single wall. But I do like this technique for saving space. I think, oh, uh, if I added it up, it would probably be close to a foot of space saved. I think that's significant. Maybe it's not worth it to you. This technique is cool. I like this a lot. I like this pocket hole thing. Here it is. I'm sitting in the bedroom on the bed right now and it's pretty sweet. Thank you. 